Hi students, today in this section we are going to talk about the factorization of the polynomial x squared plus bx plus c and note that the coefficient of x squared is equal, equal to 1 and for example, let's say we have to factorize the expression x squared plus 5x plus 6 and note that this expression is none of the four factorization techniques we have learned before. We cannot find common factor here. And there is no like there are no like terms. And this is not a difference of two square or nor a perfect square format. And so we need a new method to factorize this expression. But before we can factorize this, let's reverse our process. We do an expansion of two factors. And let's say if we expand x plus 2 times x plus 3 and we can simply just expand the two factors. We have x squared plus 3x and then plus 2x plus this is 2 times 3 we have 6 here. And finally we have the expression x squared plus 5x plus 6. And you can see that the last term, 6, this constant term, in fact comes comes from the product of 2 and 3. And in the middle term, the x term, plus 5 is come from coming from the sum of 2 and 3. And therefore we now have some idea that the last term of this polynomial is the product of two terms, 2 times 3, and then the middle term is the sum of the two terms, 2 and 3. And our picture will be even clearer if we write the two factors in a vertical format. And here, x times x, we have x squared, and 2 times 3, we have plus 6. And in the middle term will be x times 3 plus 2 times x. Therefore, we have 3x plus 2x. And finally, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. And note that you can realize that the middle term involves some sorts of crossover multiplication and the sum of the two terms, 3x plus 2x. There is a crossover cross over here. And therefore, if we really have to factorize x squared plus 5x plus 6, all we need to do is to come think out two factors and write it in a vertical format. And at the same time, inspect the factors of the last term, the 6, and which if we have in this case plus 2 times plus 3, we come up with 6. And uh, this will be much clearer if we have another example. If we have to factorize x squared plus 7x plus 6. And all we need to do is to decompose 6 into two factors. It can be 1, 6 or 2, 3. And uh, if we write the two factors in a vertical format like this. Huh? And then we again, we can multiply the two factors or expand the two factors and see which one will come up with the middle term of plus 7x. And obviously, we simply care about the middle term only because the first term, x squared, x times x will always be x squared and therefore this is not our main concern. And the last term, 6, since we have decomposed 6 into two pairs of factors, so plus 1 times plus 6 will always be 6 and then 2 times 3 we always get 6. Therefore the first term and the last term we don't need to care about in this stage. All we need to do is to check out whether which expansion will come up with the middle term 7x. And then we can see that for the first pair we have plus 6x plus x we have 7x. And in the second pair we have 3x plus 2x equal to 5x. And therefore, this one, the second pair, 
does not work. And so, this is not be one. And in fact, the answer will be, oops, sorry, x plus one times x plus six and since there is some sort of a cross over multiplication and summation in the factorization process so we call this method the cross method cross method 